Today we're going to go over thoracic mobility. This is a really simple flow that can be done in three easy steps. The first one of course is foam rolling. This is a really easy way to get external mobility to your thoracic spine. The second one is what we call a perm press. What you're going to do is lay on your stomach and you're just going to press off slightly from the ground. You don't want to fully extend the elbows because then we're going to be going too far down into our lumbar spine. The third one is what we call prayer stretch. Now, I prefer to do this on a Swiss ball, but because we don't have that available, we're gonna have to use the couch. The final one that I'm gonna show you is called Puppy Pose. This one's a little bit more intense, but for all you guys out there that can handle the other exercises, you may wanna give that one a try. I kinda stole it from yoga, but it's a wonderful addition to this flow. Finally, after we're done mobilizing, you really wanna make sure you strengthen your mid-back. This is, of course, in between your shoulder blades. We could do this by doing a simple row in a bent over position. Just take whatever weights that you have, pull them straight to your chest, and then back down. If you feel like that's too easy and you want to add a little bit of a thoracic rotation to it, take the weight, bring it up, and reach it all the way to the ceiling. All right, let's get started. We're going to take our foam roller and place it behind us so we're able to lay on top of it. Make sure you leave enough space above your head. What you're gonna do is you're gonna keep your hips low and you're gonna just slide the foam roller up and down your thoracic spine. You can see here that I make sure to arch my back over the foam roller to get enough of the mobility work. After you're done with that, you can drop your hips down to the ground. Here we can target one specific part of our thoracic spine. You could see here that I just arch my back over the foam roller and then I'm going to crunch my abs to bring myself back up to neutral. After you're all done with that, take the foam roller and put it to the side. We're gonna lay on our stomachs now with our hands by our side. Make sure to look upwards and extend your upper back without fully extending your elbows. You can start by looking all the way up to the ceiling once you have better control, you can tuck your chin in what we call the turkey tuck position. This is a really great way to stretch your superficial front line. Keep doing this with breath. Make sure to breathe in as you come up and breathe out as you come down. After you're done with this, we're going to sit in front of our couch. Make sure your heels are placed together as you sit on them. Here you can take your elbows and place them on the couch. Make sure to let your chest drop down and let gravity take you to the ground. This allows us to combat that hunched forward position that we normally have while we're sitting at the desks. This is a great one for bad posture. You can hold this position for however long that you feel comfortable doing so. The next exercise is what we call puppy pose. Here you're gonna start in quadruped position, come down onto your elbows and reach your arms all the way forward. This helps us mimic the prayer stretch without the need of using a couch or a chair. In this position, make sure to continue breathing as you open your chest and let gravity take it down to the ground. After this, we're gonna go into our bent over row. You can tell in this quadruped position, you're able to hold the weight on one hand and you're able to stabilize with the other one. Take the weight and bring it towards your belly button. You may switch sides if you feel comfortable. By doing so, we're allowing our bodies to get even work. Think about squeezing your shoulder blades together when you move the weight. Before we go into the thoracic rotation with the weight, let's just talk about a simple thoracic rotation. Start by sitting on your heels and take your hand and place it behind your head. Breathe in as you open up towards the ceiling and out as you come down. Make sure you switch sides after a few repetitions. If you feel like you want a little bit more movement, come back up into quadruped. Here you can take your hand and reach it all the way to the ceiling. Continue to breathe as you're doing this, making sure that you're opening your chest a little bit more with every repetition. Finally, we're gonna add a weight to it. We're doing the same exact movement as we did before, but this is gonna be a little bit of strengthening at the same time. Sometimes it's nice to get two in one done. 
This one is great for bad posture. If you enjoyed watching this video, feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below. Thanks again.